Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum class 5. I am your science teacher. I hope all of you are fine. As you already know that we are on unit number 3. Uh, now today we will discuss a topic that is uh, how do you become ill. Okay. So there are different reasons why we become ill. So mainly there are different type of small organisms when they enter in our body and then they start growing and reproducing inside our body and they make us ill and sometimes some other organisms are also there like uh, parasites they are getting their food from our body and as a result they cause different type of diseases in our body like mosquito they carry uh, they uh, suck blood from our body and as a result they give us different type of diseases like malaria and dengue fever okay so microorganisms, um, parasites and sometimes some worms, they are also, uh, they also enter in our body and they cause different type of diseases. So all these are the reason because of that we become ill. Okay, so microorganisms, microorganisms are small organisms. Uh, micro means small organism mean living thing. So it means these are small living organisms. So many diseases are caused by very tiny single celled organism and these are called as microorganisms. Okay, so these are very small and tiny organism which we are not able to see with our naked eye. Okay, so uh, if we want to see that microorganism we need a special instrument and that instrument is called as microscope. Okay, so we need microscope to see uh, these microorganisms these microorganisms are very small these are unicellular organism we uh, we are not able to see with our naked eye so we need a instrument that is called as microscope and with the help of that microscope we are able to see that organisms okay so there are different types of microscope so uh, we uh, can see different type of organism under different microscope okay then uh, these microorganisms they are present everywhere okay so uh, they are found in the body of living organisms like they are present in the body of plant they also live in the body of animal they also live in the body of human being they also live in air they live on land they live in fresh water they live in salt water okay so microorganism these are very small organisms these are tiny organism these are also called as microbes and they live everywhere either they are present in the body of plants animals they live in air land fresh water and salt water so these are present everywhere now germs so some of them can be harmful and the they can cause diseases and some are microorganism germs are microorganism that cause diseases okay so it's mean the microorganisms they are different type of microorganisms they are present everywhere so some microorganisms are useful for us okay but some microorganisms are harmful for us okay some microorganisms which are useful they are used in um, uh, baking uh, industries are like uh, yeast that is the fungi then we have different type of bacteria they are used in the formation of yogurt and butter so these are the useful microorganisms uh, which we use in different uh, in food industries and some microorganisms also use in the medicine uh, medicine industries but some organisms are very uh, some organisms are harmful and these are called as germs and they cause different type of diseases so mainly we have bacteria and viruses these are the kinds of germs and when the uh, germs attack our body then what happened we become ill okay sometime larger animals such as worm they live inside the body and they cause illness okay so the method is simple when bacteria or viruses they enter in our body 
and then uh, inside of a body they start reproducing okay so they start reproducing it's mean their number start increasing in our body and uh, when their number increases in our body so automatically they damage our body cell and as a result we are suffering from different type of diseases so sometime uh, larger animals like worm they also live inside our body and they cause illness so there are different type of worms thread worm ring ring worm a uh, round worm pin worm so all these are the types of the worm they also cause different type of diseases okay then uh, first microorganism that is given in your book is the bacteria so bacteria are so small that they can only be seen through a microscope okay so without microscope we are not able to see a bacteria okay so microscope with the help of microscope we can see bacteria and bacteria they cause different type of diseases like cholera typhoid th uh, throat infection infection and in mouth they cause tooth decay okay so few bacterial diseases are given in this diagram like cholera typhoid leprosy plague tetanus tuberculosis whooping uh, whooping cough pneumonia all these are the bacterial diseases okay and bacterial diseases are those diseases which are caused by bacteria okay so those diseases which are caused by bacteria these are called as bacterial diseases okay so bacteria are very small organism and we are not able to see with the help of our naked eye for that we need microscope with the help of microscope we see that uh, bacteria and bacteria are also present everywhere they are present in the body of animal plant and uh, air water and everywhere okay so next uh, group of uh, organism are the germs that are, these are the viruses so viruses are even more smaller than the bacteria and they live inside the cells of our body okay so it's mean when they enter in our bo uh, body they start living inside the cells of our body and uh, inside the cell they start growing they start reproducing and when their number increases in our body then we are suffering from different type of diseases so those diseases which are caused by viruses are called as viral diseases so some common diseases are uh common viral diseases are common cold influenza measles chicken pox hepatitis hepatitis a b smallpox polio mumps all these are the diseases caused by viruses okay now a day one more uh, one uh, common disease of virus uh, i think so all of you know about that that is the corona virus okay so uh, uh, then we have infection so when uh, once these harmful microorganism like bacteria or viruses when they enter in our body then they start reproducing uh, uh, in our body okay so their growing rate their reproduction rate is very fast inside our body and all living organism need food so bacteria viruses they need food they get their food from our body cells and as a result they produce poisonous substances in our body and that poisonous substances are called as the toxin okay so when the number of uh, uh, when uh, they reproduce their number increases in our body so they damage uh, more and more cells in our body and as a result they are producing more and more toxin substances in our body and when the amount of toxin increase in our body then we become we begin to feel ill okay so that is called as the infection so viruses and bacteria they cause different type of infection and uh, so method is simple at first they enter in our body they get their food from our body as a result they damage our cell and they produce poisonous substances these are called as toxin and when uh, amount of toxin in our body increases and as a result we are suffering from different type of diseases we are uh, suffering from different type of problems these are called as the infection sometimes they only affect certain areas of our body like uh, sometimes we have eyes infection sometimes we have throat infection and sometimes they affect the whole body uh, they affect our whole body so okay and in that case we are feeling fever so there are different type of infection look at the diagram one is the uh, skin infection finger uh, in which uh, nails uh, on nails they have infection so they cause different type of infections 
सो समाइम दे कॉज एन इन्फेक्शन इन ओनली सर्टन पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडी ओके लाइक आईज लंग्स ओके बट समाइम दे अफेक्ट दी होल बॉडी एंड दे आर कॉजिंग फीवर ओके सो दे आर डिफरेंट मैथड्स ऑफ ट्रांसमिशन ऑफ दिज इन्फेक्शन इन अवर बॉडी समाइम दिज माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम अफेक्ट ओनली सर्टन एरिया ऑफ अवर बॉडी एंड समाइम दे अफेक्ट whole body and as a result they are causing fever and then we are suffering from different type of diseases so diseases caused by bacterial called as bacterial diseases and those bacteria which are caused by viruses are called as viral diseases but in our body uh, in our body white blood cells are present okay white blood cells are actually the army of our body and their function is to defend uh, our body against these microorganisms okay so when these germs enter in our body then what happened white blood cells they become activated and they start fighting with these germs okay so when they fight with these germs as a result they kill that germs and they save us from uh, different type of infection different type of diseases and sometime we also need some type of medicine like antibiotic uh, to kill these germs okay so white blood cell basically they form the immune system of our body and they defend our body against different type of germs and microorganism and because of that uh, we will uh, we remain safe okay so i hope all of you understand what are microorganism and how they cause different type of infection okay so inshallah in next video we will discuss next topic thank you have a nice day allah hafiz